is some of the best advice you've ever been given? And by whom? As a performer. Not just in life. <laughs> um, oh, both. Although, in, exactly. I was going to be like, well, that's a lie. Um, as a performer, the best advice I got was be a sponge. Like, always be learning. Always be absorbing. Um, when you think you're the pro and you, you're done, uh, then you're done. Because that's not what this thing this is about. Is yeah. And um, who's that from? Especially in live theater. I'm trying to think. I don't it's know. It's okay. Maybe a collection of awesome, smart people. But that's the first thing that I give to young artists I meet is that to just keep learning. Me too. Um, what is it? Stay hungry, stay humble is my favorite quote too. Um, I think that's awesome. But also, life advice, best life advice from my parents actually was that uh, change is inevitable and sort of get used to finding or being okay with it you don't have to find joy in it you don't have to love it but you have to accept that it's going to happen and be okay with whatever well that's really lucky actually because most uh this is a new generation of work really for lack of a better way of putting it that people we're in this business this career that is always changing and so we're used to it and the people that have been going to university forever and think that they're going to get out of school and go right into a job job. they're it's a new world and that's not possible. And so those are the people that are struggling more so than the people that know that they might have a job tomorrow, but not one next year. What advice would you like to give to future performers? And future me. Um, yeah. Future Audra wannabes. Hey. Actually. Stay out my way. That's my no. Okay. Whoa. Um, Sorry, actually, what Audra. I was going to say is future Alexis Gordon wannabes. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Sister. <laughs> Sister. Um, I don't know. I like what I just said because I still just struggle with that. Like finding joy every time I leave the theater. Actually, specifically in rehearsals because this year, this cast is so wonderful. And I'm so appreciative of the Guys and Dolls company and the musical company here and the, the, the entire company. But... I just like I would leave rehearsals whether it was good or bad and I would look up that hill at the Stratford Festival beautiful theater and I was just like life's good you're here it's good and I'm living a good grateful. life grateful it's good it's yeah. good and you appreciate the sunset and you appreciate the flowers even though allergy season is there is know, upon us you take it guys yeah. it is hell for a singer allergies Hi, is Lake and Stratford Boys and girls, so difficult for a singer. Moving right along. (laughs) What was the last book you read (sighs) that was not play oriented? I'm trying to read. Ticket, 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 tee. Ask me again. What's the last play you read? That's. (laughs) (laughs) What's the last book you read that was not play related? Um, I'm trying to read three books right now. I think. And a play, actually. Porgy and Bess, still haven't made it through. Um, it's, um, it's like written with the dialect, so that's tricky. It's so tricky, you have yeah. to get into the rhythm to really get into it. Um, I'm reading You Can't Touch My Hair by uh, what uh, is this book? Phoebe Robinson. Um, it's uh, the host of Two Dope Queens, that podcast. Very cool. It's great. Um, and, is it and funny? Jessica, yeah, it, like every, every sentence is funny, like... I keep putting it down because I, like, can't keep up with, like, the hilarity. Like, I'm reading and it's, like, chatting with your best friend. It's, like, it's, it's, awesome. but it's, it's too much in the best way. So sometimes I'm just like, whoo, put that in. That was Mindy Kaling for me. That was Mindy Kaling's book? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I felt like, oh my gosh, we have to be friends because yes. she's speaking directly to me. Totally. So I'm reading that. I'm reading another book right now. What am I reading? Um... I, I love floral everything, and I love paper. I love stationery. It's kind of nerdy and strange. Like, I love handwritten cards, even though I have terrible writing, and I love different colors, like pens and stamps, vintage stamps and stuff. Um, but I'm reading this book about this uh, woman who um, cut out little tiny floral paper uh, sort of arrangements that she made, and it looks like pressed flowers, but they're oh, actually wow. c- cut out painted paper, and this was in, like, I don't know, like the... 1700s like oh wow like hundreds of years ago and it's all preserved and it's just sort of about her life it's actually really neat very cool mm-hmm. alexis gordon if you were writing a memoir about your life what would the chapter about the last five years be the chapter about today be and the chapter oh about gosh. your future be? multi-layered um like what would it be called yes 
That's very difficult. I know. That's really interesting. It's funny we're having the conversation about memoir books. Um, oh gosh, I don't know. I feel like it should all just be called Still Learning. <laughs> Um, so that's memoir, Alexis Gordon, still learning. Yeah. Chapter one, the last five years. I don't know. It's going so well. Wait, um, last five years, what's the next one? I'll go back to it. <laughs> okay. The next five years. The next five years. Or the future. Future. Today. And the last five years. Um, today would be like, um, I don't know, um, something about like, lessons for... From the tambourine or something, because it's Sam Brown, tambourine. Eh, eh. Um, <laughs> uh-huh. uh, maybe the last five years would be like um, finding the ingenue or the something like that. Or finding the, the ingenue. Like, where I was like, I'm a character actor, and maybe I will be, and I still can play different things, but finding so, the ingenue. Finding the finding ingenue, that you could do then that. learning the tambourine. No, like Tales from the... Tambourine Girl or something. Tales from the play, I don't play it well, but it's funny. Fair. Um, and then the future. Um. <laughs> a glass of wine a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alexis Gordon, for joining us on the Blackbird Studio. To see Thanks more of the beautiful Alexis, please come to the Stratford Festival and see her on stage singing her heart out as Sarah Brown in Guys and Dolls. And um, join us next time for another amazing interview. With Tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> I loved ya. I love you. What do you think is the best... I wanted, make, I wanted to put a break on that first question. Anyways. You have a dot, dot, dot. But I didn't want to dot, dot, dot. Mm-hmm. I wanted a dash. Mm.